All right, E-Man here. I'm going to do a quick little addendum to my last tutorial. Last time I showed you how to make an animal. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link somewhere on the screen. This time around, I'm going to show you how to add leathers to the animal and add milk. I omitted them last time around, and they're actually really easy to do, so I'm going to go ahead and include them in a short little tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is open our mods folder. I've got the Boomkin that we made last time here. We're going to open him up. We're going to go in with Defs, Sting Defs Races. We're going to open up Races Animal Boomkin XML. I'm going to set that to the side for a moment, and we're also going to go back to our mods folder. We're going to open up Core, our Defs. We're going to look for an animal that has leather. So we're going to go into Thing Defs Races, and let's go ahead and look at farm animals. If I could find them. Races Animal Farm XML. Now I've got both those files open. We'll go ahead and look through here. We're going to find an animal that has leather. So chickens don't have leather. Pigs might have leather. Here we go. Leather color and leather label. These are the two things that we need. So we're going to go ahead and copy these out. I've already got mine copied to my clipboard. We're going to go over here. We're going to find that same section in the chicken that we've made in the boomkin. And right here in race, under bird, we're going to add those two lines of code. I got a little offset there from the pacing. We'll fix that. And I've changed my leather label to boomkin skin. And my RGB value, which is what this is, a red, green, and blue value, is set to a lime green. I'm going to go back up here because with the chickens, by default, they have this leather amount zero. We're just going to remove that line of code altogether. And that will give them the base amount of leather, which is inherited from Animal Things Base. Now for milk, we're going to go over here and we're going to find cow. This is the Races Animal Farm XML again. And if we scroll through here, eventually we will find the cow. Here he is right here. Or we're going to scroll down to the comp section. That's right here. And you can see it's got comp properties milkable. This is what it takes to make something be able to be milkable. So we're going to take it from the list section here. That's what li is. We're going to copy it. We're going to go over to our boomkin file. And we're going to find that same comp section, which for them already has the egg section in it. So outside of this one, because as you can see, this already has its own section. We don't want to mess with that. We're going to make a space, and we're going to add our own section here. And this will make it so our chicken will also produce milk. You can mess with the intervals. We're not going to mess with them too much. You could also add your own milk in the future, but we're not going to do that right now either. I'm just going to make a simple, quick tutorial on how to make them have leather and milk. And this is pretty much it right here. We're going to go ahead and save our file. I'm going to launch the game. All right, so here we are in the game. I've built up a base in dev mode already and just kind of skipped ahead so we don't have to make this very long video. We're going to go ahead and just watch and see if they go ahead and milk the chickens and we'll try and slaughter one and see if we get the leather out of them. All right, there we go. We've milked a chicken. So that worked. Now we're going to move on and try and slaughter one of these. We'll put out the fire and then we'll butcher it and see if we get any leather out of it. All right, there we go. That looks like some lime green boomkin skin. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Just a little addendum to the last tutorial to show you how easy some things are.